Now with a couple of repeat state champions, Sydney Watts, Ayla Ray. They got their chocolate milk. They were disappointed about it yesterday. They got it today. Girls, you just did one of the most difficult feats in all of sports and repeating as state champions. But this was a story that beginning of the season, you said, we expect to be right back here. We expect to be competing for it. Sid, talk about just this whole journey and getting to this level again and how much work, how much time, how much effort it took to complete this journey again. You know, we had worked our butts off since we won state last year. We knew the torch was going to be on our back this year because obviously we won state last year. I feel like most people didn't really know about us. Like we were kind of surprised coming to the tournament last year and we won. And everybody knew who we were this year. We got everybody's number one. And we just had to care of, like, we have to beat crap out of everybody because every, we ever faced so many good teams. They talked about a lot of things they could hit. And we just... We worked our butts off. Ayla, you hit another home run in the state championship game. I told you yesterday to hit one for me. You said you got me today, and you did. You delivered in the first at bat. Talk to me. What goes through your mind in these big games? How do you just block out everything to be able to come up so big for your team in the biggest games? Uh, I just have to be confident in the box. I really want to do what's best for my team, and I just had to trust my guys. That's what I did. Ayla, you've been part of this team for pretty much the whole journey, freshman year all the way to now. You saw the growth from this, this team since it started, too, playing your last game donning the Falcons uniform and you do it as a champion too. How much has this run, how much has this ride with Austin Town Fitch meant to you as a person? It means everything. This, I just love, I love these girls so much. I'm so glad. I wouldn't want to spend it with any other team. Sid, you not only pitch a shutout, you hit another home run. I don't know if that's three or four games now in the playoffs that you do it and you're doing it against college level pitchers as well. Your swing has been dynamic. What has given you the, the power and the approach against these high level arms to have success? Um, you know, I knew Carson was a great pitcher, you know. She, I just had to wait for my pitch. She threw most of the stuff. It was it was hard to hit, so I just waited for the pitch. I knew I could hit, and I just came out of the ball. And I went. You struck out 10 today, but your defense also helped you get out of some sticky situations throughout the game, making some dynamic plays. How impressive has this defense been to you behind you? Only four errors all season. What has that been like for you as a pitcher going into the circle knowing that your defense has your back? They worked their butt off, you know. It, my goal for this game was to keep the ball in the ballpark because I knew if it stayed in, they would be able to make a play, and they did exactly that. You know, from the first game of the season to this one, I had complete trust in my defense. There was a one moment I thought, like, I was worried because I knew they were going to get out of here. Girls, I want to let you celebrate before we let you go, Ayla, why don't you take us out of this? Give some final words to that Austin Town community. I'm just so grateful to be a part of it, uh, back to back. I just, this girl's been my girl forever, and I'm just so glad I got to spend it with this team. Ayla, Sid, congratulations on the state championship. You guys deserve it so much. Get to celebrating.